What is up guys, it's Saturday. And today we are doing a video that was actually suggested down in the comment section below. I don't know how many of you watched the previous video where I restored a bunch of iPhones and I was like, God damn, what am I supposed to do with all of these? Someone suggested make it into a home security system for cheap or actually free. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Today I'm going to show you how to use your old phone. That was very aggressive. Today I'm going to show you how to use your old phones and turn them into a home security system for free or very cheap because again I'm not 100% sure how the software works yet but I guess we're about to figure that out. So today we are going to be using these iPhones but you can also be using Android phones for these so if you have old Androids you can go ahead and follow this as well. This will work on both. Also thank you guys all so much for everybody that ordered through the affiliate links down in the description below through Amazon. It helps the channel out a lot and I also found out that those affiliate links can be used for anything. They don't have to be just the things that are in the video. So if you guys are ever ordering anything on Amazon and feel like you want to support the channel, feel free to click any of the links down in the description below and uh, order your stuff through that because it helps the channel out a lot and you don't lose anything out on it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here we have our stash of iPhones. So basically what you are going to want to do is you will need a software called Alfred. Now, if you have ever researched this in the past, you may know what Alfred is. So what you will want to do is you will want to enter your app store. So boom, or the play store, actually, I'm going to show you this on both. And you just want to search for Alfred, Al Fred, and boom, you want to install this application. So I'm going to click install. And that is going to install on the iPhone. While that's installing on the iPhone, I'm going to show you how to do it on Android. Here we go. You go into your play store, search up Alfred, just like that. And you install the very first app, which I actually already have installed right there. Okay, cool. Now let's do the same on all these iPhones. So iPhone number one, I believe this one already has it installed. I installed it on as many of them as I possibly could. So there's one, power this one on. They're all charged. I charged them all up. So yee. this one is also on, also has the software, also has the software. This one just died, which was a possibility. We have this boy, which I actually just put together today morning uh, using my brand new iFixit kit just to try that out. Then we have the 6S, which uh, unfortunately the back camera doesn't work, so we will be using the front one. Then we have this 6 Plus, which is a big boy, and that also has the software. Okay, so all of these are currently just getting powered on and etc. So this one here just powered on, also has the software. Uh, that one there is powering back on. This one here, this is my uh, custom made iPhone, which I was very proud of back in the day. Also has the software, it's my black and gold one. And this one over here should also have the software. Some of them have passcodes, some of them don't. It's just a matter of uh, me being stupid. Oh, it powered on, okay. So I'm gonna grab one now and I'm going to show you <laughs> what to do with all of them. This is like a game of Jenga. Okay, that thing experienced a power failure because of a battery malfunction, apparently. Okay, so let's just grab this one. So what you guys will want to do is you want to open up the Alfred app. Then in the app, it's just going to show you the power up screen. So just a phone in a stand and you want to wait. So it's going to show you the tutorial. Let's click try it out. So this phone is going to be the camera. And here it asks you, do you want the phone to be a camera or a viewer? So we're going to select camera. I'm going to click sign in with email. So you want to sign up for an account, exactly what I'm doing right now. Perfect. It's going to ask you to verify your account. So I'm going to do that. No email yet. Oh, no, there it is. Verify your account. Here we go. And then you can click sign in now and sign in to your Alfred account. So Alfred camera would like access to camera. Okay. Okay. Just give it access to goddamn everything. And as you can see, it says online. So this is our first one. Let's just place it somewhere. There we go. I'm just gonna put it there for now. And then on your other phone, your kind of main viewer phone, you want to launch the Alfred camera app once again. And then in here, of course, you will want to select it as the viewer. Again, you will want to sign in with the exact same account. And once you do that, you are going to see your phone show up right there. So as you can see, it says live, it shows you the battery level of the phone, it shows you movement events, and it shows you the live stream on the phone right there. The quality is 240p. You can bump it up to 720, but that is a premium feature. So for now, I'm just going to show you these. Then you can also turn on motion detection for your phone. I'm going to click OK for that. That may or may not have been a massive mistake because we are constantly moving. So we'll see. And now let's just do the exact same thing on all the other phones. Okay, 
we have another one. I think I'm actually gonna start scattering these around the house. So if you guys see me leaving the frame, that's why. And last two phones, you guys. So now that the very last two phones are getting connected, I'm going to download the web viewer. The last two phones are now connected. So I'm gonna go stack these up somewhere around the house and I can show you the finished product. I literally ran out of room to place the phones in order to like, you know, not invade anyone's privacy. Here is what we have as the finished product. So as you can see, I am now inside the web app for Alfred, which is a thing you can actually get on your computer. You can see all the phones are getting recognized here. It shows you the battery life. It shows you everything. As you can see, I've used it in the past. And this is all for free, by the way. You can always upgrade to premium if you don't want the ads and if you want full 720p resolution. So if we click into one here, it shows you the bytes per second. It shows you the frames. You can enable motion detection, actually. So it actually starts recording when it sees motion, which I have enabled on that one over there. Hello. And as you can see, they're all running right here right now so if I click into camera and I believe this is that i5 uh, 6 over there. there oh yeah oh, yeah. oh, oh that can't end well. well oh no, oh, no. And it has audio. Yeah, it records audio, which is absolutely great. So I'm just going to select a few here just to show you. Yep, that's a problem. Let's fix that by muting it. Okay, so as you can see, there is another one right there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, that's no, that, that one over there. there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then, and then we, have, we have... And as you can see, you can have, have them open. open. They're on They're the right-hand right side while you're searching through the rest. We have another one over here. here. Hello. Hello. And then, and we, then have we have more of them. Of them. Here's one pointing at the garden, you know, for just actual security reasons. If, if you actually want to protect yourself, this is probably the correct way to do it. Also, if you were actually using these as proper CCTV cameras, you could have them plugged in all the time. And then if you have a power outage, they continue going. That's how great they are, because they will record with motion detection even during a power outage. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that one. And then, you know, if you reconnect, they will send the stuff over to you, which is just absolutely great. As you can see here, here is the success pointing out to the front of the house right there. Again, Again, more, more security. security. This one just pointing at the stairs because I ran out of ideas and I'm unoriginal. So there is another one. I I'm actually going to go out there right now to say hi. And because I have very decent internet, there's pretty much no latency in case that is a very important thing to you. There isn't much more to it. The motion detection, if you have it on. So I actually had a notification come in on my phone that motion was detected on this iPhone 6 right here. Oh, you can, well, also, you can turn also turn on the, on the flashlight, flashlight, by the way. By the way. So, so you can't, you really can't really see the flashlight, the flashlight getting, getting, turned getting turned on, but it is getting turned on. So you can, so you can turn, turn on the on flashlight, flashlight, you can take a snapshot, snapshot that'll, that'll instantly, instantly download, download it to your computer, computer just, like, just that. like that. You can you full can screen, screen it, it, of course. And of course, and of course if you were actually smart, smart about it, about it you, would you would rotate, rotate it, it and make it landscape and not portrait like I did. But hey, that's just a theory. So yeah, that's it for the web app, you guys. And then on your phone, the app is really nicely built, really, really well. And if you are going to be using this, I do recommend you pay for the premium it's not even that expensive. I think it turns out to be about 24 euro a year, which is not much for a CCTV solution. And as you can see in the app here, for example, that phone over there, because I turned on motion detection on it, I have a folder called events. If I click into that folder, it shows me the motion detection events and I can click on them. And right now it actually came up with a notification. Motion is happening. And then I can click into it and it shows me the date today, June 13th. And it shows me all the motion events, which there's a lot of, of course, because because I am constantly moving. And as you can see here, there's videos, there's photos. This one is 30 seconds and there's sound. That motion was detected on this iPhone 6 right here. And I believe from this iPhone 6, I could actually click into absolutely perfect because that means all your files get instantly sent to the cloud so that you can access them on a phone, on a computer, anything. So they are safe and secure with you in case somebody broke into your house and turned off all your devices. Also, if you are planning on running your iPhones on battery life or just your phones, the app has this really cool feature down here where if you click this lock, it's going to enable low power mode, meaning the screen turns off, but the phone is still on. And if you ever want to unlock it, it shows you all the information here. And then you just press and hold this button and boom, you're back to normal mode. If you are going to be using them on battery life, I do recommend enabling this low power mode. Also, this cool feature where motion detection is turned 
off while you're moving your phone around so you don't have to worry about that going off when you're trying to reposition your mobile phone. Really, really cool features. But yeah, here you go. If you have a bunch of old phones lying around, Androids or iPhones, and you have nothing to do with them and, you know, CCTV security, it's very important nowadays. Here you go. A free way to get yourself CCTV cameras if you have old phones lying around. And it works really, really, really well. And of course, you can switch camera on the go as well if you needed to for whatever reason. So that's always an option. If you wanted to look around, turn around 360, you have that option. This one will though. There you go. You can switch cameras. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope it helped you out. I hope you found out something new, something you didn't know. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works as well, but make sure to tell me why in the comments section below. If you aren't yet subscribed, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead. Follow me on my social media here and here because that's how I communicate with you guys. Join our Discord where we have a constantly growing community of lovely people and we talk about literally anything. Sometimes we even do voice chats. Also, I give out Discord Nitro. Join our Reddit where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes so that I can review them someday. And yeah, that is going to be it. So if you guys want to be notified of future content, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.